What's up guys, it's Scoot here and today we're back with another episode of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Today's episode we're going to be going to the jungle to take on a green plesioth. Um, I still don't have a bow gun, so this could end badly. I know the regular plesioth went pretty smooth, but since green plesioth is a subspecies, it'll probably have uh, a bit more damage and a bit more health. I also forgot to bring my own sonic bombs, so that could be an issue. Or a frog. I don't have a frog either, so. I do have mega potions, so I guess that counts for something. So this guy should only go to areas 3 and 4. He might actually be in 4 and I just missed him. Yeah, there he is. Um, Like I said, I don't have a frog so I'm going to try and hit him with a sonic bomb. That did a lot of damage. See, so yeah, this may have been a mistake. I probably should have got a bow gun to do this. But oh well. If I fail, then I fail, and it's not the end of the world. Yeah, green plesioth is just plesioth, but green. Which, I like him better. I like the way he looks better. I like green. So yeah, this is going swimmingly. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist making a pun. I have a problem. So yeah, um, this is going to probably not end well, but I mean, whatever, let's just keep doing it. Worst case scenario, I lose some materials and some items. Best case scenario, I actually pull this off. and. Uh, Maybe I should just stay by the head, actually. I know I do more damage to his, like, stomach area. Especially if I actually don't hit the head at all. I don't think the tail hurts as much as the hip check does, so even if he does do that. Okay, 
Okay, he's angry again, so that's not very good. I can't even really uh, reach his head. I'm sure there's probably an area that I can gather a frog. I, I don't know where that would be. I think this is like sap plants and stuff. I think that does exactly the same amount as a hip check. Maybe a little bit less. Yeah, that, that definitely did more than the tail. So, I think I can make the conga bow gun, which shoots fire shots. I know this guy's weak to fire. I might do that. I'm not going to abandon the quest. It's my own fault that I'm in this situation. should have been better prepared. I'm just going to... I guess try and be extra careful, see if I can pull it off, and if not, then I'll make a bow gun and do it again. Cause with Blade Master, there's real no good position to be in by this guy. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I think I'm just gonna have to basically run in for pokes on the head. I don't know actually how much damage a slide will do. Oh wow, okay, thanks. Um, because I was already pretty weak last time that he hit me with it. Also, that move right there, if he, like, hits you with it, it'll put you to sleep. So this guy, just like regular Plesioth, whenever he's weak, his fin will go down. That was bad. Alright, so...
So I'm trying to focus. Uh, I'm not really saying much, and uh, I, get, I apologize for that. But I would like to beat this guy um, if it's possible. I would rather wait about making a bow gun until I can make the mailing cell doll. Okay. That's fine. I'm using all my mega potions too. That's another thing. I would like to beat this guy because I used a bunch of items. And I would rather they not go to waste. And he's about to run back to the water. Yeah, I really hate this guy in this game. He's just so obnoxious. He becomes super easy if you have a bow gun. But. I don't have a bow gun because I don't ever actually plan anything out. I just kind of do stuff. I really wish you would jump out. I should have brought Sonic Bombs. I can't. I can't even begin to imagine why I didn't. That is ridiculous range in this game. I think if I sit like right here, he can't hit me with it. It's already been 13 minutes. This is taking way too much time. Now he's gonna run back in the water. Why, I, like, I just, I don't get it. Why even jump out if you're just going to do that? changing areas. Today's episode might be long because if I don't beat him this time, I'm not just gonna have the episode end on that. I'm gonna actually properly prepare and beat him. Which with the right bow gun shouldn't take too long. And I think the Konga bow gun should be pretty nice. Cause I think it rapid fires pierce shots and it also can use fire shots, so it's basically designed to be a please the off killer. Actually I broke probably at his wing there. I might try and do that next time he's I don't think I can hit this one. I hope he doesn't do the sweep because it'll probably hit me and I really want this best boy shell. What I really want is for him to jump out of the water. And then die the next time I hit him. That would be great. Not likely, but it would be awesome. He's jumping out of the water. So I guess that's the start. I also hope he doesn't run right back in. So 
So if you've never played this game, this quest is completely optional, and I would not do it if I were you. I'm only doing it so I can do all the quests and kind of show off as much as possible. The only, like, way I would say do this quest, like, if you're going for, like, a 100% run, come back with, like, a super high bowgun and just murder this guy. Honestly, if you are going to play this game, please do that and find as much, I don't know, pleasure in it as you can because this guy deserves it. He's going to jump back in the water. Okay, I made him angry. I think. Nope. Yeah, this episode might be like an hour long. I'm surprised he didn't hip check there. probably gonna okay, well he's almost dead so if I lose right now it's gonna be really really disappointing I'm gonna try and not do that though obviously that's the plan Just probably sharpen my weapon also so I can get the most damage he's gonna jump back in the water I think that's fine. I just need you to not do that. I'm just missing everything right now. Also, I think it just started raining like really hard. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not, but if you do hear something and you're trying to figure out what it is, that's what it is. Also, I don't know how that hit me, but thank you so much. Okay, so I might be able to do this. Yep. Alright, awesome. I am actually really happy. <laughs> that is, uh... That's wonderful. I am stoked right now. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that was Green Please Yoth. I hope I never have to hunt this dude again. I feel like he's going to have a G rank version and I might actually just skip that. <laughs> Basically, if I show you G-Rank Plesioth, you've seen G-Rank Green Plesioth. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I sure didn't. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.